more positive news about the housing market, both nationally and locally. According to Standard & Poor's, U.S. home prices just made their largest gain since the real estate bubble burst seven mm -hmm. years ago. How are these national numbers comparing to the local ones? Well, to give us some insight into how our real estate market is doing, our expert, Denny Grimes, is in with us this morning. morning. Uh, we hope that this is good news. There's a lot of trends going the right way. So, so what's happening here with home prices nationally? Well, locally, we're not a stranger to good news. We've seen the good news in our market for the last two or three years. This is great news for our market, all this talking about a national perspective, because the index measures the top 20 cities in the country, and for the second month in a row, all top 20, all top 20 cities around the country are showing positive housing gains from a price standpoint. And the reason that's good is a lot of those areas come from the Mississippi to the east, which are feeder markets for us. And uh -huh. so the better that market does, the better for us. The better for us. The other thing that's interesting about that whole list is the top city was Phoenix with a 23% growth uh, in price year mm -hmm. over year. And our single family year over year in Lee County, as you can see here on the slide, was up 26%. So we are even outperforming the best of those cities, which is great. That is pretty good. Uh, if it's Phoenix gets singled as number one at 23, we're at 26. You can't beat that. We're just not as large to, to be on their list, but that's pretty impressive. It is. But you have to take these uh, the stories with a grain of salt because, you know, not all, all markets are kind of local, mm -hmm. and you have to segment it. Like, for example, our single-family market is doing really well. Our condo market is up 12 percent. But when you, when you look at the high-rise market, it's down. It's down 7 percent. The other thing that we have a hard time uh, making our sellers understand is that not all single family markets are moving in the same direction. For example, under $250,000, that market is up 20%. But if you go over 500,000, that market is actually slipping and or losing price, or losing value because there's still a heavy inventory in the upper end, 500 uh, uh, plus. But it is more, I would say, normal in a sense, but family homes, 250 and less, that's where we're Selling our houses. Right, and I would expect that t trend to continue under the 300,000 in our marketplace. And I've got to ask you this question: We hear about this mystery Fortune 500 company that's maybe coming to the area. 700 jobs, average salaries around $100,000 a year. Those folks could buy a lot of houses. C could this move if that company comes here help us out? And why do you think they'd be coming here? Yeah, everybody wants to know who it is, and I guess we're going to know soon enough. I want to applaud the county and the Horizon Council for attracting them. Now, this is going to be a positive shot in the arm for our market. It's not going to revolutionize, uh, revolutionize our housing market, but it is going to be a step in the right direction, particularly one relocation many times leads to another. And we need to broaden our economic base, and that's the best news about this move, is that we're going to get away from tourism and construction and have some high-paying jobs here, which will be a great shot in the arm for us. Yeah, well, you get one, you get the second. You get the second, you get the third. That's right. That's the way we like to go. Thanks, Denny, for coming in, sharing with us those uh, numbers and the perspective. We're right back. Stick around. Stay with us.